Hi, I'm Keith, and this is a user training video on the process builder or sales processes inside of Plan Plus Online. First question you ask yourself is what is a sales process and why might I want to use one? Well, a process the process builder can help really help with accountability to make sure leads don't slip through the cracks. It puts your sales opportunities right on your home page just like a normal task would, and there's some great reporting available on these sales processes. Here's a little example of a, an opportunity showing up on the home page. You'll see a little green stack of money next to it on the home page indicating a sales opportunity, an opportunity to make money. These sales processes can also be used for other workflow situations as well where making sure that there's a due date and, an, and a user assigned to follow up on the next step. Those are also good uses of the process builder. Here I've got another example from the home page of a sales process. I mouse over this little link icon and up pops my opportunity snapshot. That's a way to see additional detail about that opportunity. Here's another example of a scenario where you might want to use a sales process. Here we're showing a workflow where you've got step one possible results is that it could be a dead lead or it could be a qualified lead that, that could advance to a prospect, hot, pending one. This particular process right here this particular sales process here is one taken from a book called DNA Selling from Patrick Hansen, and you can see the sales stages of this particular sales process here. We like this one particularly because of the simplicity of the process steps. If you're working with our professional services team, you'll find that they've got some forms that can help make designing these sales processes real simple. If you're more comfortable with pen and paper, we've got some sample forms that you can use to design your actual sales processes contact the professional services team for access to these forms or search process builder in the FAQ. Here's a few elements of a sales process. These are things that can be included as part of your sales process. You can trigger automated emails. We have a few samples of automated emails. You can create activity tracking. So if you want to track certain activities, you can make those process steps. You can also create task groupings or groups of tasks that are triggered at certain points in the sales process. You can also automate routine data entry. So at a certain sales step, if you find that your reps aren't updating the correct fields, you can make those automatically updated as part of your sales process. So let's begin connecting the dots. The process builder, when being used from a user's perspective, will show up on the Opportunities tab under the Process tab. When you create a new opportunity, you'll see that you have the opportunity to attach a sales process. Most accounts will have a couple of default sales processes in them. If you want to configure a new sales process or edit an existing one, you'll go to the Process Builder section. You can easily get here from the Account tab and go directly to it. Or if you navigate to the Account page and the Setup tab, open up the Opportunity menu down here in Process Builder, you'll see some of the additional options. So this Process Builder link right here is the same link as you get from the Account tab. Now once inside the process builder, you'll see some existing processes. I recommend taking a look at the existing processes so you can familiarize with yourself with what a finished process looks like. To create a sales process, you need to first identify the process name and the type of process. Processes can be attached to either a contact or to an opportunity, but not both. So you'll need to decide up front when building a process what type of record you're creating that for. All right, so the three main elements of the sales process are the home page view, where the sales process is going to show up. That's this slide number one. The opportunity view, which is, this also applies for a contact. So the detail view, where you'll see the process tab. And then this screenshot three represents the setup, the back end. This is where an administrator would configure the process. I'm going to talk briefly about the configuration op options with the sales process. Okay, so we're going to go into an existing sales process and open it up. This might be a good slide to press the pause button and take in some of the text on the screen. This is the detailed page of a process. You'll see that the each process step has a name. Each process step has a description. The description will be displayed to the users when they're using this process step. Process steps are comprised of a due date, so by default each process step will have a a due date. You can manually assign it or you can put the due date off into the future some period of times. A lot of times with a, a, a sales process or a workflow, the next step may not be due for 5 or 10 or 20 days. You can set that due date right here in the definition. The assigned user, you can have the assigned user either be an exist, a static user in the account or the user that's advancing the process. 
Actions can include things like sending an email, updating a field, and then the results. These are all the possible results that will be displayed when a sales process is used. Here on this slide, we've got an example of an account with some of these fields filled out. You can see that we are updating a field value. This is a very good practice to keep your sales process in line with your sales stages. You can send emails automatically or user confirm. You can update, you can create task appointments notes, and you also set result descriptions. Auto advancing would automatically advance this lead in a certain number of days. The auto advance is an optional feature. It's not often used. Uh, the situations where you might want to use it is if you automatically want to uh, advance a, pro a sales process if a certain step didn't get take of in, taken care of in a certain number of days. Please be advised if you do auto advance a step, any tasks, emails, or other updates sitting at that next step will happen immediately. You may be asking yourself, is it best to use a process step or a task as part of your sales process? If the activity is critical to the path of the process, you want to use a process step. If not, you can just use a task at any step. One word of caution is don't put too many process steps into your sales process. Simplicity is best, especially with the process steps. If you want specific activity reportings on an action, it may be best to use a process step as well. Next up, we're going to talk about process builder reports. These are the reports that you can generate when you use the process builder. The process step activity report is going to show you a listing of all of the activities that have taken place on a particular process. Here we are inside of a Plan Plus Online account. I'm on the Opportunities tab, View Reports. Scroll down here to the bottom of the page. So let's look at the process step activity report first. The first page that comes up is going to allow us to define some of the parameters around our report. The time frame, who, and whether the process step was completed or was opportunities that we want to report on. In this example, I can select all. I'm just going to report on the seller process right here. Click Submit. Okay, here we have process steps, each one of the process steps listed in order. And here we have the users on this. So I can see that Cameron completed the new opportunity four times. That means he created four opportunities. He has completed the new listing signed initial twice and completed the new listing under contract once. Okay, next we'll talk about the process step past due report. The process step past due report is also on the views reports page of opportunities tab. We'll select past due reports. This report has fewer options to choose from. I can select just certain users. I can select all users or user groups. I don't have any user groups created in this account, but if I did, I'd be able to select an entire group. And I can select one or more processes. I'm going to select all processes for this report. Submit. And here's my results. This is a list of all my opportunities that are past due, meaning that the due date for that opportunity is past. This is a great report from a management perspective to see if the leads are slipping through the cracks. This here is a real estate example, but this same report applies to any Plan Plus Online sales or business account and is very helpful for keeping track of all of your sales opportunities to make sure they don't slip through the cracks. This is a very unique feature of Plan Plus Online. From this report, you can click into any one of these opportunities. The final process builder report we're going to review in this video is the current assignments report. Just like the other reports, we're on the opportunities tab under the view report menu. Scroll down. This is right here. I'm going to click on this. In this report, I need to just select the process that I want to run the report on from the drop down menu here. As soon as I select it, this report will show me by each process step how many opportunities are currently at that step. So you can see I've got two new listing signed step. Thank you for watching. This will conclude this video on the process builder.